Hey friends, it's Kirk and Kim here, and we are at our home preparing to go to Good Things Utah and speak today. And we're speaking about a topic that is like on, really heavy on a lot of our minds right now. And with this topic of, you know, what's going around with the coronavirus, it's really stirring up a lot of thoughts, and it's also stirring up a lot of emotions. And stress. And so for you in your life, the worry may be going up. Yes. And so what we have for you here today, when we want, we're, we're going to be going on TV and talking about how to lower that stress or that worry so you can think. And so tune in. We're going to show you what to do. And then also we're going to invite you to an upcoming webinar that's just going to happen in a couple of days here and give you, it's a free webinar to give you some additional training. So watch for that information. And it's going to be for you and your kids, which will be really great. Yeah. Since, and pass it, pass it on to your friends Since your kids are too. home. It's yeah. a great time for you them and your to watch kids this webinar. And your friends and super urgent so people can yeah. manage that worry. Okay, watch closely. With the coronavirus weighing heavily now on our community, it is no secret that it is playing with our emotions, our stress. And Kirk and Kim Duncan from Three Key Elements are joining me now to talk more about this. What is this doing to our brain, the worry that so many of us are feeling on a daily basis now? Well, what I find happening is that we don't have enough time to process. And so we have a story and then we worry and then it causes more stress. And then the next story comes before we have had a chance to manage that. And so it just keeps piling up and it's, it's becoming very overwhelming for a lot of us. My word is worry of the unknown, Yes. right? Is that true for the two yes. of you? Like what might happen and it just swirls in your brain? Yes, it, what, what's happening is that there, we're faced with situations where we actually don't have answers for. And so our mind is getting overloaded trying to figure out what to do. And, but what it does is then it stirs up emotions. So when the mind is spinning trying to figure out what to do, emotions start to break loose inside the body and come up. Those emotions can literally, literally begin to cover up Completely the mind's cloud. ability to function. Really? So the problem is people today have emotion inside of them that they haven't dealt with from the past. So what do you mean? Uh, so we have had tough situations in our past that we haven't really processed those emotions. When difficulty happens in our life, we, we are in our brains trying to figure things out and it stirs up emotions. These old emotions are coming up and they are covering up or clouding up people's ability to think. So now you're not only dealing with what's going on today, but you're dealing with what went the on in past. the past and exactly. all of it at so once. So whenever yes. there's pressure, whatever emotions are unresolved inside of a person come to the surface and cloud the mind. And so a person actually can't think. So now they're caught in a trap. They can't think, it's stirred up emotions, which causes them to not think and then panic. All right, how do we take that off? How do we okay, take that so, right off of the brain? So this is now called worry. <clears throat> We're gonna just gonna call this black cover here worry. Mm -hmm. And so what we need to do is we need to take the worry off so that we can think. So every family, every child, every mom, every dad, every man, woman can think more properly about what to do to take care of themselves. Now, to get worry off of your mind, you go to pad of paper and pen or sit down to your computer and literally list out all the worries you have and number them. Because instead of having them spin around in your head and be all mixed up. They're on the up, paper now. You now organize them on paper and just that little bit of organizing your worries on paper gives you a sense of problem solving. And you'll, you're gonna feel relief. Because it's on paper, because now it's not all scrambled in your head. You literally write out number one worry, number two, number three, number four. And so now that you have all your worries out on paper, you're beginning the process of organizing yourself. Do you know what I love about the two of you? You just validated everyone's fears and feelings though. It is okay to say we're stressed about it's this. Okay. Hey, number one, we're stressed. We all feel number two, that way. I don't have toilet paper. Yes. Number three, number I don't three, have peanut butter. If number I go four, to the grocery store, do I wait in line? What do I do? Exactly, right. do I go outside, do I not go? And so when you start to write your worries out on paper, you're validating your feelings, which then helps dissipate the feeling mm -hmm. that then takes you back to thinking. So we need to manage our emotions by organizing them on paper. Now for little kids, 
For little kids, they need to draw pictures. Oh, I like that. Of what they feel like is going on. What are they scared of? Because they're feeling it too. We they, all are. And then your brain can yeah. be clear. That's yes. what we want right now. Yeah. Everybody go to our website and we'll link you to all of their information. Kirk and Kim from Three Key Elements, abc4.com slash GTU. Thanks you too for oh being here. Oh my goodness. Here. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Today at Good Things Utah, it was so different. We got, we just got home and wow, different. Right in the middle of while we're talking, all of a sudden, you know, we're sitting there with Nisha on the couch and she says, breaking news. And so we had to like be quiet. And the whole time we're sitting there backstage, you know, sitting next to Nisha, actually not next to six feet away from Nisha on the, Dis- on the couch. Social distancing. Social distancing. At the TV station. And then like the whole the set, you know, people are kind of running around and, and making things happen and put, pushing certain bu- buttons because they now have to um, uh, have uh, Donald Trump on, on, this, on the live breaking news feed. And it was just a really... We're in the middle of our piece like literally on TV, in the middle. and they cut it, and they're like, go to breaking news, right? such a different experience. And, and, and the feeling there today was so different. It was very different. And I think that that's what's happening for all of us, is everywhere we go, it, it, what we're experiencing is, is something we've never experienced before. I mean, in my whole life, I've never experienced some of the things that we are all experiencing currently right now today. And each day, something new is happening that we've never experienced before. Now, I want to point out something here really quick. We were in a room on the studio and there's probably about 10 people. I quickly counted. Mm -hmm. And here, here is the president of the United States talking about the update of where they're at, where we're at as a country and what he's going to do for the country and what we're doing to be able to minimize the spread of the coronavirus and what was interesting is out of these 10 people there were a couple people who actually weren't listening yeah they were true. they were jibber jabbering and talking and goofing around and goofing it? around and then the other six of us were like glued like to every word the president's like messages happening. and then also using using that plus our perfer- peripheral um brains Trying to figure out, okay, what's going to happen next? What what are we going to what are we going to do next? When are we, when are Kirk, are Kirk and I are we coming back on? Do we we need to be ready? We need to be listening to what's going on um, on the breaking news, but we also need to be ready for what's next. Yeah, and, and it was interesting to watch that some people yeah. are taking this serious and some people are not. But, yeah, and so what's going to happen is you know you saw as we talked about you know talked about emotions. And some people take their emotions seriously and some people don't yeah. take their emotions seriously. They don't really consider it an influential part of their life. It, but you learned today in watching that it's a huge deal to manage your emotions. What happens when, when there are people that are, that are not taking things serious, what happens then is those people become the reckless people because they're not paying attention. They're not paying attention to their, to their surroundings and they're not paying attention to what's going on inside. And so when you're not paying attention to what's going on around you and you're not paying attention to what's going on inside, those things begin to collide and then we become reckless and then we end up hurting the people around us. And that's what, you know, Kirk and I, we, you know, we want to, we want to be able to support you and help you so that you can be you know, in charge in your mind. So people who do not manage their emotions are going to become reckless. And reckless emotional people are going to hurt other people. And someone's going to get hurt. Like, can and I give a little example? I was I was at I was at Costco the other day, you know, picking up some things that I needed, and and the line was like literally over a mile long. I'm sure you guys have experienced some of this yourselves, but it was over a mile long line. And um, a, a couple of ladies and I, we were going in to get our carts and then get back in line. And there was a lady that was inside, and she literally freaked out on one of the ladies that was walking in with me because she wanted to you know, let us know that she'd already been in line for two hours. And that was just a super reckless experience. She obviously was not managing her, what was going on inside of her. And then you know, it caused this stress on everybody else because wow, it was, like, it was pretty crazy. Now that was just a little tiny thing compared to some of the other things other people are, are dealing with. But you know what? We don't need to be in those positions and situations if we're just doing what we're going to teach you. So here's a link to jump on our webinar that we're doing this Friday to be able to teach you some emotional management techniques so that nobody gets hurt emotionally in your family. And if you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally reckless, how to manage that. So go to this link, register. And the link will be right here on the post too. Yeah. And register so you can be part of that. 
And we look forward to sharing with you actual techniques and steps to be able to manage what's going on inside of you. Help keep you sane and yes. thinking and just keep you in a good place. Right? Okay. We look forward to seeing you on that webinar.